Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 17 in the NFL. We're talking right now to Justin Bat from Illuminati Sports. .ca. A lot of people were wondering what this guy's deal was coming to us from the Illuminati. Now we know what his deal is, right? Kicking ass and awesome at NFL handicapping. 24 and 13 against spread overall on the year with us last week. Another winning week two and one against the spread. And his one loser was, was very close call. He liked uh, Cleveland plus three and a half. They wound up losing by four. The line closed at six. We have to give him a loss on that one still. 24 and 13 against spread. Unbelievable record. Justin Bat from Illuminati Sports.ca. Thanks for being back with us. Well, we made it. Regardless of what happens this week, winning record. I'm satisfied. You're convinced. Viewers made money. You fucked up and didn't tell my picks in your parlays. But hey, <laughs> all in all, it's been a blast. And while some cappers fell off the wagon along the way, we stuck right in there week after week and delivered winner after winner. So with all the above said, let's cap this week 17 off with some solid analysis and potentially deliver two winning picks to finish the 2014 season off with SBR. Absolutely right. Well, yeah, we don't get six minutes of bullshit and then a coin flip pick uh, from you. Totally different story. All right. Tell us what your website, IlluminatiSports.ca, is all about before we hear your analysis of Chicago, Minnesota. Winning. That's all I can say. In NHL, NCAA football, and basketball. And of course, the NFL. <laughs> if you're too shy to fork out a couple hundred on seasonal bats, there is now an owner selection, three-star pass, pick six pass, which all have winning YTDs, since being added to the site, let us do the work and help you attain your financial goals at IlluminatiSports.ca today. All right, the Illuminati finally helping the common man through SBR videos with free NFL winners. All right, Chicago, Minnesota is your second game this week, Justin Bat. Right now, Minnesota is a six and a half point home favorite. Totals 43 and a half or 44. And this is an interesting game because Minnesota kind of quietly is now eight and one against the spread over their last nine games. And that's an even better record than you are in our videos uh, over the last nine games, I think. Maybe not, but that's an awesome record. So Minnesota, I know the Sharps have been uh, on them a, a bunch of times. Brent from BetDSI has told me in recent weeks they've definitely been cashing. Uh, the thing is, though, you know, it's mostly because they've been too big of a favorite. They're just four and five straight up in those nine games. And now here they are giving big points. And the Bears, you know, it, it's a tricky situation. We know that, uh, you know, Clawson wasn't that bad last game. Now Cutler is going to be starting back here. And the question is just uh, mentally, where are the Bears going to be now? Mentally, what can we expect from Cutler? What's their situation? Uh, you know, with Clawson starting, I was loving Chicago or liking them at plus six and at plus seven and a half. Now with Cutler back, I think. I think I'm still going to like them quite a bit, even at plus six and a half. I think that Minnesota in the favorite spot is not where you want to be betting them. And Cutler in a big dog coming back after being benched uh, might be a good spot for him. I'm on Chicago here. We'll see what you have to say about it. What's your analysis of this game, uh, Justin Bat? Well, looking at the stats from top to bottom for these two bottom feeders, it appears this game will likely be closer than expected. Historically speaking, the Bears have played the Vikings tough. But once again, we are dealing with two teams that really want to play the 60 minutes pack up their lockers, and call it good for 2014. So instead of giving you rock'em, sock'em, robot stats like I did last week for the Browns versus Panthers game, we're going to avoid the gibberish, so cue me up, Peter. Okay, we're getting to the pick fast this week, and that's what I like. Well, line opened at 7 or 7.5. Now it's down to uh, Chicago plus 6.5. Justin Bat from IlluminatiSports.ca. Let's hear that pick. Well, we believe that the value lies in the total here. We see the Bears attempting to head the offense with the run game for a bulk of the reps. But there are also a lot of injuries on Chicago, which leaves the window of opportunity for rookies to do an early audition for next season. So there may somehow be a half-decent effort put forth to close the curtains on the 2014 season. Therefore, we will select the under 44 on the total. And thanks to all YouTube and SBR video followers, the good news is I'll be back in NFL 2015 week one season for now. <laughs> Cheers to you all and wishing a happy new year as well to you, Peter. Is that Don Perignon? That is some Vokli call. Oh, shit. Is that, oh, shit, bubbly, Justin Bad from Illuminati Sports. Uh, hey, look, that's how you live. That's how you roll when you're 23 and 14 against the spread in these tough uh, NFL. Oh, no, sorry, 24 and 13 against the spread in these tough NFL lines. All right, getting back to the pick. What oh, Yes, we are celebrating here with Justin Bad from IlluminatiSports.ca. Meantime, he's given an interesting take on Chicago, Minnesota. He likes the under currently 44 is a widely available number. I'm not going to argue with that. Justin Bat from IlluminatiSports.ca. Thanks so much. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round. 
a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.